everybody so today is thursday june 7th and it is my last day of rotations ever i am so excited i haven't really filmed that much this quarter because or this rotation because i've been in retail again so it's not really easy to just record yourself in retail so i have not been recording um this rotation has not been bad this ro this retail rotation has actually been better than my previous retail rotation it's down the street from my house and it didn't take me long to get here um i wake up at 8 15 every day and i have to be here at nine at first i was doing four 10 hour days but then i asked them could i do five nine to five days because i also work actually across the street over there so i was like well i can leave i can work nine to five here and some days i go over there and work five to nine so at least two days out of the week i work five to nine at my regular pharmacy job so that's like 12 hour days but this week tuesday i went to work and then yesterday i worked nine to nine at my rotation because they are giving me friday off so he asked if i could do them a favor and work 99 because somebody wasn't coming in and they were like we'll let you be off all day friday and i was like sound good to me but i do have to work in my job today so after i leave today i have to go straight to my job from five to nine which won't be too bad but yeah but um i have enjoyed this rotation everybody's been really nice um a lot of them are really crafters just like me so i kind of like that um i've convinced one person to buy a serger I've convinced convinced one person to buy a heat press. Well, that same person that bought the serger also bought the heat press. And then I convinced somebody to buy a Cricut machine. So, you know, we're just some crafting people. And I'll definitely come by to visit them because they're not far. And I do shop at this store sometimes also. So, they're like, make sure you come back and visit us and blah, blah, blah. And let us know how everything goes. I'm like, y'all are right here. And, like, you're not that far from me. I could definitely visit y'all. So, they've been really nice and helpful. Um, we went to the Sky Fit class. I'll put a clip to that in the video. Um, that was fun. So, I mean, they've been really welcoming, I should say. And they said they saved the best for last because they've liked me the most. A contributing factor to that is that I work across the street and we use a similar system. So, I kind of already knew how the system a little bit worked. So, that kind of helped also being that I've been working for the last few months or whatever. So. Yeah, so now I have been applying for jobs and I'm waiting to take the boards and everything like that. So we'll see how all that goes. And yeah, I will talk to you guys a little later. Um, my amazing husband, he is just so awesome. When I got home last night, he had bought me a new elliptical. And it's funny because I was thinking about an elliptical on my way home. I've been thinking one about for really heavy for like the last three weeks. And I've been researching and researching trying to figure out what's a good one to get. And he done sat and researched one. I had, like I said, I worked nine to nine yesterday. So when I got home, the garage was shut. And I was like, why did he shut the garage? He knows I was on my way home. Like he never shuts the garage when he knows I'm on the way home. And when I opened the garage, there was my elliptical. I'm gonna put a little Snapchat clip in here so you can see what I was thinking. But yeah, I was like, he's so sweet. He just awesome, you know. So thankful for my husband. But um, yeah, let me go on into this rotation before I'm late. I'll talk to you guys later. Pulled up at home, right? And my husband, he is something else. So the garage was closed when I got home, and I was like, "Why is the garage closed?" He knew I was on my way home. Let me show you all what I just opened the garage to. I hadn't even got out of the car yet. He got me an elliptical. Stairmaster machine. Yeah, I tried to do some. Uh, I tried to do some research on I love it. To... So they got me a Oreo Blizzard cake. I'm so excited. I tried to urge to resolve this. Question actually. Do you feel like you're actually good? Good morning, everyone. So today is Friday, June eighth, and it's my first free day of being done done with pharmacy school like i cannot believe yesterday was my last day of rotations and i'm finally done if i look sleepy i am definitely sleepy um i literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago but guess what i'm about to do some fasted cardio because my boo bought me a fasted uh elliptical so let me show you guys 
so this is my elliptical. It is the Schwinn 470. Excuse all the other background stuff. But this is my machine. I'm excited. It has a little screen and everything here. It has speakers, has a little fan, has a tablet holder. And then on the back, back here, you can like charge your tablet and stuff. So I'm gonna turn it on down here. There we go. So yeah, it's time to do some cardio. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Oh. Sorry, that's my heat first. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I personalize a graduation cap and turn it from drab to fab. Well, it's really not drab because you know it's a graduation cap, but um, this is a doctoral cap. It's not the normal flat cap. So, it's a little bit different to decorate. Um, I did decorate my previous two graduation caps because they were the plain flat graduation caps. But this one is a little bit different and it's a doctoral cap. So it's not like you can really decorate it like you can a regular graduation cap. So I'm going to show you all my graduation cap. that I've already done mine, but I'm about to do Melissa's. So let me show you all that. Okay, so this is my graduation cap. It has a purple monogram on it at the bottom and I did this I applied this with my heat press as you can see it's like the one two it's like the octagon tam it's called a tam so yeah this is my graduation cap and now I'm gonna make Melissa's um I've already made the design on Cricut I'm gonna make sure I change this to a iron on to mirror it and then I'm gonna be doing Melissa's in this gold color, so. Okay, so I have the design. It's on this mat somewhere. I just have to find it and then I need to weed it out. Okay, so it looks like it's here. the design on this and like I said I have to weed it I like to use a seam ripper to weed so I'm just gonna weed this really quickly okay so I finally got the design weeded out so now you can see the initials it's weeded so um I'm going to make sure I cut off as much extra as possible because when I did my cap, I kind of scorched it a little bit. So I'm going to make sure I just cut off as much as possible. This is the graduation cap like I was showing you guys. It has a front and a back. The back part has this like little elastic. So I'm placing the monogram right on the back portion of the hat right here so it's gonna go around this area so I'm gonna place her monogram right around that same area as mine all right and then my heat press is right here so it's already ready to go I'm gonna put my little rubber mat back on there Okay, and so I'm only gonna place the part of the hat that needs to go under there. I'm not gonna put the whole thing under there. Okay, so after that, 
we now have a monogrammed cap. And I did a way better job of hers than I did on mine, so that's completely fine. But this is gonna be cute to wear at graduation. It'll have a little monogram in the back, so I can't wait to wear these and yeah, super duper exciting. Ugh. I graduate next week, people. Can you believe it? It's been such a long time coming, so. I'll be headed back to school on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have a all-day NAPLEX prep, and then Thursday is a free day, and then Friday, we graduate. Uh, uh, we graduate. Uh, uh, I graduate.